Superiority. Being better or more important than the others around you at a certain thing or in general. You talk to a yay fan and his favorite album is the college dropout. Cool. Or it's my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Hey, I also like that album. Cool. Or it's Yeezus. Whoa, not cool. The boogeyman is probably standing right in front of you, waiting for you to say that your favorite yay album is graduation and waiting to be fed this strong dose of I am special. He is special. Just not in the way he thinks. The thought of being superior to other fans because of reasons that don't make any sense. This guest spreads through a lot of communities and the music community isn't a stranger to it. My music taste is superior music fans. Let's start with one of the most iconic toxic music fans the World Wide Web has ever witnessed. The I was born in the wrong generation music fan. This species has been around for a while now. I can't even really call these people music fans because they heard the most service level songs from the 80s or 90s pretty much everybody knows. And now they want to go all the way back to season 2 like their entire life will be being a background dancer and the girls just want to have fun music video. This species makes itself feel superior by saying things like I hate my generation or I'm 15 and I hate modern music and people find me weird for listening to 80s music while being completely naked and to this fan base I say you don't like the hit songs just find something else there's something for everybody nobody forced you to listen to Olivia Rodrigo and these mysterious old songs nobody knows but you play on the radio FYI now just shut up and enjoy the music like everybody else luckily this species has already been dying due to people making fun of them but still be careful the annoyance level is unmatched now let's talk about the I don't listen to rap fan this group could range from 13 year old boys to old ass men these music fans will not I repeat will not fathom hip-hop or what the oldies like to call it that new hip stuff their understanding of hip-hop, especially with the older guys, is a dude with oversized clothing, a hat, and holding a skateboard with one hand and a boombox with the other. 90 out of 100 times, these guys only listen to metal from a time where people thought we would have flying cars by now. They all have zero swag, walking around looking like this or this. They all think they're either Batman or the Ghost Rider, and they look at any other genre as weak and too modern. To this group, I say... Hop up out of bed, turn my swag on, took a look in the mirror and say what's up. Now we got the I don't listen to rap fans more brain rotted twin. The this is not real rap fans. Now these guys are a fucking joke. They are the ones calling everything that has some sort of mainstream attention mumbo rap. And when you ask them, so then, what do you like? You'll get an instant Eminem, Tupac, and Biggie Smalls. Nobody else, because these are the only rappers they know. And when you ask them to elaborate, you'll get an instant, it's deep and real. Like, what the fuck does that mean? The There's Phineas and Ferb theme is also deep and real. All their arguments are stupid. Luckily, these guys are almost extinct due to meeting the same faith of mocking like the I was born in the wrong generation fan base. They will make themselves feel superior by calling your favorite music mumbo rap or saying that new music is only about money and bitches. It does not matter what it is, if it's from the 2010s and has some sort of success, mumbo rap. Do not go near these guys, they smell like shit. If they do end up blaring about real rap, just be like, wow, really? I don't think that's true, but if you say so, sure, buddy. Like there's some fucking child. Don't talk about your favorite music, that will only set up their mumbo rap. Making them feel not heard will tear them apart. To these guys, I say, does anybody actually like you? Now we got the music nerd. But not the cool music nerd that likes talking about music with you. No, the music nerd that will tell you that your opinion is wrong. Every conversation will be one-sided. This person tends to like albums like Yeezus, The Money Store, and a lot of experimental artists and bands. When it comes to the music fans that feel superior, this species is him right now. This is the 100 HP plus Pokemon. You don't even have to look for these online. They will find you. To these people I say, I hope that when you sit down on your couch, a hand reaches out of your couch and squeezes one of your butt cheeks. Another very powerful one, the I have listened to this all my life music fan. Every fan base has a fan like this, it does not matter how new the band or the artist is. You will have fans feeling superior to listeners getting into the artist or band they like because they were here first. Some fans even get a yes, I'm superior rush, so crazy. Sometimes it leads to something we call gatekeeping. They will in every conversation mention how long they've been a fan and simply feed just off that. 
I don't think we will ever be these guys, simply due to their skill of evolving with the time. To these music fans, I say, prove it. Prove to me that you were a fan before me, because some like you, I came with evidentiary documents. We also got the Oprah and classical music enjoyers. These guys actually enjoy classical music. I don't know what to say. They might actually be superior. Conclusion? It's not wrong to like 80s pop, classic hip hop, classical, metal, music that sounds unordinary compared to other music. And it's cool that you listen to this artist for so long. These things do not make you an annoying music fan. Not at all. It's just that these guys are pretentious. They think they're Tori from the Victorious Pilot where she performs and everybody's like, wow, you're so cool. But they are just a shit stain underneath the shoe. They think that the things they say are new and complex. Do they care for the music? Or do they get off on feeling seen and feeling different? Reality, if the eyes are gone, their takes are more worthless than they already are. That's how you handle them. Ignore them. Act like they don't exist. Because the truth is... We are the superior music fan, me and you! Greed Day Nicky Manjo